is going on everybody? Hello and welcome to another episode of Project Lynn. So I'm here at Unique Automotive. Um, I dropped off Lynn last night and it is the next day now obviously. And I've just finished work so I've brought the camera. We're gonna go see uncle now. Uh, see how Lynn is doing. I'm not too sure in what state she's in now. She possibly could be finished. Fingers crossed, I hope so. Or it could be a drastic mess all over the place. You know, the whole car could be, the whole cabin could be all over, you know, empty or whatever, or a mess. So we're here now and let's go check her out and see what's going on. Say hello to Uncle. Uh -huh. Oh my God, I'm going to get run over. Oh, Uncle brought his GDR. Oh, Come on. Come on. <laughs> anyway, Uncle, Uncle, good news or bad news? I don't know. I am good news actually. I don't have STD. <laughs> I was talking about Lynn, but I, congratulations. I, I never I, holding hands. That's, you know, usually I when I ask a question, you don't get to the point. There's usually something up. Yeah. So. Something is up. If I'm standing here just staring at her, you know there's something up. Yeah, because I can't remove that dashboard. What do you mean? Because it's, um, it looks like it's glued in or something. Yeah, I've never had that before. But, um... Like, glued in as in someone super glued this? <laughs> what? Because... It's stuck. Whoa, Ooh. so shit, everything is yeah, out. It's out, it's ready to pull out, but it won't pull out. Yeah. If I pull any harder, you know, it'll come all over the place. It'll, it'll crack and break. Sorry. <laughs> what yeah. the hell? You're joking. I got that one out, but I don't know. Maybe it lifted and the glued it. I, I don't know what's going on there. But once we get it out, we'll know. But because, like, what you like, I know. Look, Uncle, you're you're a strong man. I know. Look at them muscles. But that should be easy to take out with everything coming out. Yeah, it pops out easily. Just click and it comes out. That's it. I oh. know when to give up, right? I, I don't pull it until it breaks. Yeah, I know when we've got a problem. It's all oh. loose. It's ready to click. It's all out. So, so what do we do now? We wait um, until we get another dash. If there's another one available, right? And then I will gently rip this oh. thing out. <laughs> If it breaks, it breaks, and then we replace it with another one. Uh, let's go work on the GTRs. They don't have this sort of problem. At least I know I'm in for an engine. So what, now I've got to source a dash? Yes. Just in case. To all the super guys that are watching this, I'm sure you feel my pain because you know how, how hard it is to get a dash. Well, Getting one in good nick anyway. Yes. Just make sure that we have one available before I, I yank on it. Alright, that means I've got to start making some phone calls. Oh, man. We need a V8 dash. The car life, guys. We Buy a get... Supra, they said. They're bulletproof, they said. Put a bullet in it. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, we've encountered another... Obstacle? Hurdle. Obstacle? Hurdle, as Uncle would say. Um, but we will always jump over it. No. She just won't let go. Alright, so that's what's happening right now. Uncle's stripped everything out to take the dashboard out to get to the heater core, but we he can't because it's stuck or glued or something and uncle doesn't want to just try and yank it because what can happen is this can crack and if i don't have another dash then we're pretty screwed so i'm all over faceballs the internet the wreckers will try and source a dash it's five what well, 5 30 now and most shops closed so the only thing i'm praying to now is the guys on 
on the super pages, you know, that wreck supers at home and, and all that, or they have a small business is, is the only hope I have. So we're going to see if somebody replies back and I'll try maybe tonight and get one or see if we can get one tomorrow. But, oh, tried the brothel. Michael over there thinks he's doing work. So Michael actually has a project of his own. Yep. This is his puny little RB. Which will be, are we allowed to say anything or do you want to wait until you do it yourself? Oh, I'm not even sticking with that engine anymore. So yeah, they don't care. <laughs> what are you going with now? So what's this? Is this the 26? This 26 that's going to be pulled a thousand horsepower. With an RB30 block? No, 26, 26, straight 26. Yeah. I know he wants an RB30 in it. Yeah? Yeah, we're getting itchy. You know, itchy. I'm already itchy. Can you bring the Audi next time? Please? Please? Is it good? When I got my GTI in here, he doesn't want to bring the Audi. He's threatened. Yeah. He's scared, he's scared he's of the He's scared. He's scared of the yeah, I was a 34. He's that guy, that guy, he's scared. Because when I put the GTR, he put the Audi home, you know, he's not coming. Yeah, because he's scared the top top. Look, he <laughs> ran away with the Mercedes. That red super there is owned by Jimmy. He's running a single setup now. Auto. Should see a 10 in it. Yeah, Uncle? We'll run 10. So. Yeah. Daily driven 10. Jimmy, you gonna shit your pants, buddy? He's gonna shit himself. 85 cams, very responsive turbo, so it's gonna bake him. Oh, those tires, he's gonna bake them, right? He's gonna bake those tires. As soon as he touches the throat, hits two and a half, I think he's gonna lose. Can you just think that just over a year ago was when this car was on this hoist with no motor, stripping it out? Mm -hmm. now look where Put we're it at. back. Look where we are. Yep, and you thought it's going to be a two month project. <laughs> Guys, I remember the first. Before the car actually went in, I came to the uncle and I said, Look, we want to get this done, la 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 la, this, this, that. And I, and I remember I was like, Yep, it's a, go ahead, it's, a fit, it's confirmed, we're going to do it. And I remember I said to him, I said, We should get it back in like, what, two months, three months? And he looked at me and he's like, No, mate, double that or triple that time. Yep, if you can double that, it's a good day. It's, it's a good project. Normally triple it. 278 kilowatts. Bare stock. There's more in it, but I, that's all she's gonna do. It's enough for now. Yes. It's enough for me. So oh, I can spool the first turbo even harder. Don't too. tell people that. I don't want them to know that. It's, it's only a strap of the keyboard. No, I'm cool. I just hook up my laptop and I just do something. All of a sudden, the first, first turbo spools harder. Alright, so I've contacted uh, Andrew, he's uh, part of the New South Wales Super Club and he does help a lot of people out in need, um, he's a wrecker himself, so he said that he has one in stock and it's in pretty good condition, so I was like yes, um, I'll get it off your hands ASAP, so Hall is at work at the moment, so he's we've got like a couple of hours until he gets home. And oh, I gotta pick up my girlfriend from work as well. So instead of just waiting for it to to come, we're gonna try and get some other <laughs> that needs to be done. Like like I said in my last vlog, I did have the series two grill that we need to get. And uh, oh, uncle, yes. I've got the bolts. Manesh got me bolts for the plastic guards. Okay. So look at all these. Alright, just a period stain. Nothing. And that's Uncle's custom uh, struts. Yep. Alright, so update. We've spoken to Hawley and we just let him know that we might need to get the dash off him if sh goes bad. So we're gonna pray. Uncle, right there. Do you need me to try and yank from my side or anything? No, that's alright. That's why I didn't want to. Because of that? Do that. <laughs> well, the clip can be replaced. This is really locked on, see? This one here, this side. Oh, this one. 
I think the, the way this windscreen is actually glued it in. It's sticker flex to the yeah. to the windscreen. That's why. Yeah, yeah, it's been sticker flex in, I reckon. So this window, yeah, this window is being replaced. It's stuck. Look, see sticker flex in. Oh, I can't see it from there. It's stuck. See, look, it's stuck in. Did you see that? That's, that's been sticker flex in. It's been sticker flex onto the dash. The clips are right here. Look. See the clip there? Yep, I can see them now. Yeah, yeah. Yep. but that top of the dash has been glued into the glass. There, yeah, see? Look, all the top half has been glued into the glass. Yeah, that's stuck it on good. I can't even get that off. Yeah, it's stuck there. I can see the glue. The glue stuck on it. Wow, look at that. Ah, even this is gonna have a problem. I'm gonna put a glove on to rip this thing off. Yeah, see what that can Alright, so now I know what the go is. When the car was getting painted, and um, I think there was a little crack in the window, so while the car was getting painted and everything, it was a good time to get the window replaced. So now it makes sense. Now, obviously, when they've replaced this window, they've put too much sticker flex, yeah. and it's. Stuck there. onto the dashboard. There. See? All there. Along there. And look there. It's, 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 look, there it is. This is why I don't use a condom, because I can't get it off. Well, the dash is off. Well, there's a start. Fun job, isn't it? When people are like, oh, heater cord it takes like, what, three hours to do? It's easy, it's just a couple of volts. This is why a mechanic will charge you more for this than to replace a clutch or a gearbox, I'm saying. I'm assuming, yes? Yeah, it's not hard to pull it out. It's putting it back and you don't know what you're in for because sometimes you've got wires running everywhere and there's additional work. Yeah, But it's not difficult. The dash is quite easy to take out, but the heater cord, there's lots more to it than that. Yeah. And every car's different. There's going to be someone's dodgy wires somewhere here yeah. or something there. Or yeah, you don't know. Boost, boost that, AUX cables and systems and... Yeah, so the stereo, all the stereo system was disconnected. Yeah, now you got to rewire it when you put it back. So uh, we're getting weight reduction done here because we're just finding useless wires that are not connected to anything. Yep. That can go. Sayonara. Uncle, do you want me to bring it from this yeah, side? Yeah, I'm going to the wires and then we can... We'll bring it out from this side. I'm going to go pick up the girlfriend from work and then we'll see what's what the go is. I might be coming back so we can continue uh, vlogging this. And, um... Alright, Uncle. Alright, Uncle. I'll probably see you later. Yep, make sure you keep those rabies yeah, in I check. Yeah, rabies in my stuff. Jesus. Well, it's the same or not? See? This is black. Mm. I don't know what's any different. Well, when I spoke to Hawley ages ago when we needed a source of heater core, he had heater cores. So it wouldn't hurt to get the stuff that we need off him anyway while we're there. See, I'll connect up when I test that motor there and th and this didn't move. This mechanism didn't move when I... So we're going to so move this here, Uncle? Yeah. Um, but... We've got no steering. We have no steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, because I can't turn this, the whole thing will rotate. If there's a wheel, there's a way. No handbrake well, you too. Bought it. No, no, we <laughs> we got no handbrake. It's anyway. so, alright, we'll run a hydro setup. So Uncle's thought of a solution of how we can get the Flintstone to steer again. We're gonna have to put the bar back in. <laughs> yep, stick it back in. So we can get the whole steering wheel to to hold and stay. Sorry uncle. I'm no worries way. uncle, no worries. Even though he's got his sexy jeans on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Big power. Big power. Big, big power. <laughs> I'm gonna make some room because it is late of the night and we're gonna have to pack up. So uncle's gonna need the hoist. So we're gonna try and try and make it. Oh, cockroach. We're gonna try and move it. Uh, two, two manpower. Oh, it's got a camera in there, doesn't it, Uncle? Yeah. Slowing the down, slowing the down, slowing the down, slowing the down. How sexy do R34 taillights look like it? No. <laughs> yeah. I got that on camera, Uncle. That's Relax, you didn't install it, people. <laughs> Does that. Needs a tune. Who's got time for that kid? See that? Uncle ha is that flat out busy that he doesn't even have time to tune his own car. It's been like this for... For what? A year? At least. Over a year. Yep. It runs, that's good enough. So with a new setup and everything, and he just doesn't have time. Ah, they both meet. But in a, in a sickness... Up. In a sickness way, they're both in hospital. Yes, at least I have a heater. News that we didn't expect, as always. Lynn, you're full of freaking surprises. This dash is completely gonskies. We have to yank the living shit out of it. This is where I'm gonna end the vlog, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see what happens, what I can film tomorrow or the next day or whatnot. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Uncle. <laughs> I don't even know what this means, I see it all the time. What does this mean? Come and kill me.